agents, and welcome to our mission briefing for February 20th and 21st, 2021. Agents, we'd like to congratulate you all on a very successful Valentine's mission. We collected 256 Valentines that were delivered to our shut-ins and to people in local um, homes. We also collected 80 Valentines from the kindergarten, first and second graders who sent them out to local families who were picking up food boxes. And we just think that's so amazing that we've just spread the word of the Lord and our love for everyone to so many people. So it was a total of 336 Valentines. Good job, agents. Yes, also don't forget to get your passport stamped before or after the services if you've done any of the missions, including our Valentine's mission. Just a quick note on that. Um, if you are getting the mitten stamp on some of your ever, any time Valentine's, um, you will get to stamp those again. So go ahead and do it and you can do it again. In April, we'll be switching to a flower stamp. And so you'll be able to stamp those things again if you did them for the next set. Well, if you haven't already, uh, please or give your annual report to the church office, any board or committee that hasn't done one already. Uh, the church office, we need these as soon as possible, agents. So if you have any questions, call the church office as soon as possible. We are going to continue our adventure, Return to the Lord, on Wednesday nights. This week will be a return to prayer, and you can join us at 6.30 p.m. for that in person or on live stream. That is our Latin theme this year. It is, yes. Well, speaking of weeknights, the gathering continues at Thursday at 7 p.m. in the Parish Hall. This week we'll be starting on understanding biblical poetry. So please join us for song and devotion, prayer and fellowship in the Parish Hall. Agents, bids are still being accepted for the Smith Home, but only through March 1st. That's not very long away. So please call the church office if you're interested or you have any questions. Coming up the weekend of March 7th and March 14th, we will have a door offering for the Here We Stand campaign. The Here We Stand campaign is to raise funds for those going in the church work uh, to help offset the college uh, costs or seminary costs of tuition and books and other things needed to attain that degree in order to graduate with a DCE, or go into the ministry program as well. Very cool. Trust and Investment is now accepting applications for disbursement of funds earned in 2020. Applications are online or in the office. They are due by April Fool, by April 1st, and that's no fool. <laughs> if you have a mission that you would need funding for, please contact them with an application. Just a reminder, the Easter flower sign-up sheet is on the glass case in the narthex, or you may call the church office if you would like an Easter flower as well. Yes, definitely to beautify um, our church for Easter. Our next mission has started. There is a sign-up sheet in the narthex, in the church office, and in the school office to purchase shamrock cookies. Um, there is an example in the narthex if you'd like to see what they look like. These cookies can be delivered to other members at church anonymously or to family members in the local area anon anonymously, or you can pick them up to deliver to someone in person if you would like. They are $3 a piece, and all the funds that we earn from these will be going to our building fund. And so that is our next United in Christ mission. Right. Right. Uh Last, as we continue looking forward for our passport missions, uh, the next big monthly mission that we should start planning for now is the baby drive in May. So start thinking about getting diapers and other baby items around. Uh, and if you purchase those, you can bring them to the church and we'll find a place to store them until May when we disperse them. Also, be on the lookout for toys, uh, new toys, uh, throughout the rest of the year and bring those in when you have them purchased as we will do our toys and joys in December of this year. So start planning now because we would like to have lots of toys by December. And as always, if you are interested in helping with any of these um, United in Christ missions, please see um, Pastor or myself 
um, or John or Julie Kineth, and we will make sure that you are set up to help with one of these missions. Well, that's it for our mission briefing for this week. And we, as we always do at the end of our mission briefings, we end with our mission statement. So I encourage you to speak this along with us. We are God's servants, saved by grace through faith, commissioned to share the word of Christ to all.